You've seen this before? Yes. Good. We're going to talk about this. This right here, let's assume that I can spin it at a constant angular acceleration. The symbol for angular acceleration class is? Fishy thing. Fishy thing or alpha, doesn't matter to me, angular acceleration. Okay. So this would be what is called uniform circular motion. If you are spinning it at a constant angular acceleration. So if the, I'm sorry, if the ex angular acceleration is equal to zero, I don't know why I said that. So if the angular acceleration is equal to zero, this means you have uniform circular motion. So what is constant if the angular acceleration is equal to zero? What is constant? David? I would go by default, the answer would be no. You would have to specify. Benedict? Uh, angular speed. Angular, we could say angular velocity, right? The angular velocity is going to be constant. Is the class, the linear velocity of the object constant? No. no. Why is the linear velocity of the object not constant? Class? Because the direction is changing. Okay? So in uniform circular motion, the linear velocity is not constant, its direction is changing. However, the angular velocity, symbol for angular velocity is, Kevin? Omega. Omega, and omega looks like what, Sarah? Um, That would not be an omega. Well, that would be a capital omega. I apologize. But that's not the one we're talking about here. Nikolai? It's like a curly W. Okay. So angular velocity is constant. It's a curly W. All right. So this means if the linear velocity is not constant, if the linear velocity is not constant, what must it be true? Okay. Uh, yes, I could. If the linear velocity is not constant, what must be true? It's changing direction. I, uh, you've gone backwards there. Yes, it's changing direction, therefore the linear velocity is not constant. Therefore, Flanagan, it's there must be an acceleration. Right. So, this acceleration is called The acceleration, Boya, is called? Uh, centripetal acceleration. Sorry, what kind of acceleration? Centripetal. Centripetal. Class A centripetal? Centripetal. Class centripetal means? Center seeking. The A sub C, the center seeking? The centripetal acceleration. So we already have an equation for centripetal acceleration. It's the tangential velocity squared divided by the radius. It's also the radius times the angular velocity squared, but we're going to concentrate right now on the centripetal acceleration tangent tangential velocity squared divided by the radius. That's where we're going to start. Okay. 